Okay, so we're on the Tinkercad homepage. You should know how to sign in. By now you push sign in, which is right up here. Then you do the sign in using social providers. Click there. You know we use Google. And we get signed in. So from our dashboard, we are going to make um, a new project. So do create new design. So you know where to click. Today as kind of our um, final lesson, we're going to do a minion. So let's rename it up at the top, you know, to click into the name here and do minion, M-I-N-I-O-N, -I -I minion. Push enter to get out of that field, and now it's renamed. So let's get a couple pieces here. So just stay on the basic shapes and scroll down. We're going to get the half sphere right here, this pink one. So grab that and drag it onto your work plane. So we're going to grab this top white box right here. So look right now, this one right here is the one we want that's gonna make it taller. So I click down and drag until it's about at, let's say 20-ish. Remember, you can also just type it in over here if I wanna do 20, enter, either way. But it was this top one right here if you missed it. So now I need to lift up that part of my minion. So I'm gonna grab, remember the black teardrop? Again, you can click on it and enter a number if you want to, or you can click and drag. I'm gonna drag it up to about 20. So mine's at 20, or like I said, click on it and put in the number 20, same thing. So right now it's floating in midair, which We'll fix in a minute here. Let's get it looking more like a minion. So we click on it and we do the color will be yellow. Now let's get the bottom half of our minion. So you're going to grab another half sphere. So come back over here, grab your half sphere and drag it on. This time we need it the other direction. So I'm going to click on this um, top arrow, rotating arrow. And remember, you want to be in a similar view to mine. So I'm in home views, um, which makes it easier. If you're like this, rotate back around, or if you're in a different direction, just push home so that we're in the same view. We want, I think, this top one. So let's try it. Click on this top one and then enter into the numbers 180. Yep and push enter. So I'll show you again in case you missed it. But from this angle, I clicked on the top rotating arrows, went into the box here and put in 180 and pushed enter. And now mine's flipped upside down. Now I'm gonna put it underneath here. I'm gonna rotate down so I can see better. So I've got my um, second piece underneath here. I'm gonna drag up with that same kind of top arrow thing, or sorry, not arrow, that same top white box and make it about 15. So again, I'm just clicking on this top little white box and I'm doing about 15. Or I can grab this top white box and just drag. So I left mine at about 15. Mine aren't lined up yet, but that's okay. So right now you've got something that looks about like this. And remember, yours does not have to look just like mine. Mine is always just an example. So from here, we're gonna lift this bottom piece up. So remember, you just click on it, grab the black teardrop thing. We're gonna raise it up to six. So again, you can click on it and type in six, or click on the white, um, click on the teardrop and drag up to six. There. So 
So mine isn't on quite even yet. But drag yours up to six and rotate around to take a look. Okay, so I want mine even, so I'm gonna click on the bottom one here, and then I just wanna do little movements, so I'm gonna use my keyboard, my keyboard arrows, and I can just move it a little bit at a time to try to even it out. Then I'm gonna need to rotate around and make sure it looks good. Mine looks good. You can see the color here is a little bit different. That's because they're overlapping right there. I'm okay with that. I kind of like that actually, so I know that they're touching. So let's grab the bottom here and make it into a blue for our minion. I know it's still floating. We're still gonna fix that. So from here, I want you to grab where is it? Where is it? Another half sphere. Drag that on. And then we're going to drag another half sphere. So we should have two half spheres on our page right now. We click on one. Doesn't matter which one. We're gonna drag it down to, we want it to be about 10 by 10. So see when I go to the corner, it shows up 20 by 20. I can click into those to resize them, which is usually the easiest. Or I can click on a box and drag. Now, I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter. See how it's tall like that? I'm gonna make it shorter. So I just click on it and grab that top white box. I'm gonna bring it down to about five. So I can click and drag or I can enter in five. Okay, now I'm gonna click on my other sphere and resize that. I'm gonna click on the corner here and remember how we resize. We can either drag, I like to enter, I think it's easier. I want it to be about five by five. Five by five. And I want it to be about seven tall. So remember that top one, you can click it. I like to enter the info or you can drag it down Either way, we wanted about seven. So I'll give you a second to try to get yours situated. Okay, so then you click um, on the bigger piece. And you're gonna change it to white. And then click on the smaller piece and change the color to black. And now I'm gonna drag the smaller piece inside of the bigger piece. So it looks about like that. It'd be sticking up a little bit. So I dragged it inside there And now when I have it positioned how I want, I'm gonna group them together. So remember you click and drag over top and then push group, which is up here if you forgot. Please look now so that you'll know where it is. But when I group them, you'll see that my pupil turns white and I don't want that. So I'm going to go up to my colors here by the solid and go to multicolor. And now it is grouped together. I can move it as one piece, but I can see both colors still. So now what I'm gonna do is rotate it. So I wanna use kind of, go back to my home view. So if you're not in home view, take a moment to click on the home view here. 
and I'm going to click on this side arrow here that's kind of hard to see. So not the bottom, not the top, but the side one that's kind of hard to see. Click on that and do 90 and then do enter. So now my eye is um, rotated forward like this. And then I just click on my um, teardrop, remember the black teardrop, and start to lift up. And then remember you gotta keep rotating around. And I can just keep moving it. I like to use the arrows on my keyboard. Okay, so take a moment to try to place your eye on, and you might want it a little bit taller. Minions sometimes have that bigger style eye. It's up to you. And once you get it how you want, we're gonna group the whole thing together. So you just click down, remember, and drag over top, and then push group. And to it's already in multicolor mode if you did the last step, so it should be good. So that's all we're going to do together, but if you want to take some time and add some legs or add some arms, um, go ahead and take some time to do that today. Okay, so I spent a little more time on mine just so you could see kind of what my finished minion looked like. Um, I used the pre-made hands and adjusted those. I made some cylinders into some smaller shapes here and added them as legs. And then I used the tube around the eye and the tube around the head to um, adjust mine. So mine I could work on forever. I could always be adjusting more and more, but that's what I got done in my little bit of work time. So. Um, you can use this as an idea and work on yours for a while and see what you can get done.